Y'all both. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Your boy's back with another one. I rock with you if you rock with me. We're about to get right into it, bro. So, unless you've been living under a rock, we all know about the Skip Bayless tweet, bro. Um, I ain't gonna front. My personal opinion about his tweet, the timing of the shit was just so trash. Like, this dude, Skip Bayless, has to be the most toxic journalist I've probably ever seen or heard a day in my life. This dude, he knows how to trigger people, bro. People don't even understand. This dude, Skip, is just such a bozo, bro. Like, He's, he tweets his thoughts and it's like impulsively so in live action he'll tweet this thought and it's like what did they say about ink it's like careful what you write because when you write it it's permanent right and he tweets his thought instantly after the situation with uh with, with mr hamlin happened on the buffalo bills and he's getting like this backlash for it i'm not as mad as everybody else i don't care what somebody's tweeting when this kid is dealing with a cardiac with cardiac arrest because I understand not everybody cares the same way. I personally don't care about this tweet like everybody else is making a big hoopla about the tweet. The tweet was trash, you know, but it's taken out of its context. I'm able to have my own thoughts where it's just like, yo, bro, it's just a tweet. <laughs> it's just like, to me, it's just a tweet, bro. Let me know in the comment section below if you believe that Skip Bayless deserves to be canceled for the time of his tweet. Because honestly, for all the things he should have been canceled for that he wasn't, I doubt this is going to be the end of Skip Bayless, but we're going to get into it. Hit the subscribe button because the subscribe is the vibe. And it's your boy Gabos. Let's see what this one. Let's get the breakdown of this. Okay, okay. What's going on, world? It's your homie Sensei Rip, and I'm back again with another video. Today we got Skip Bayless responding to the backlash over his reactions to Bill Safety DeMar Hamlin collapsing on the field versus the Bengals yesterday during Monday Night Football. That's right y'all, this morning Skip Bayless showed up by himself to deliver a statement. Let's check out this snippet and I'll catch y'all afterwards with my commentary. Alright, so with that being said, let's get to it. I heard Shannon left him hanging. Jen, allow me to say up front that I apologize for what we're going to set out to do here today if it offends anyone because we're we're going to try to do the show pretty much as we usually do the show but i'll admit up front i'm still shook up by what happened last night to damar hamlin in fact i'm still wrecked in fact i'm not sure i'm capable of doing this show today but after barely sleeping on it I decided to give it a try. Maybe I'll fail, maybe we will fail, but we're going to try. We wrestled through much of the night whether to even do a show today because it felt like in our minds, we almost can't win with this because the last thing we wanna to try to do is come off as insensitive to what this young man is going through in a life or death situation. The last thing we want to do is offend anyone by trying to do what we always do, which is talk about sports. As this show goes on, we're going to try to talk about a little bit of sports. <coughs> like he's drawing up this. Uh... But we're going to continue to talk about what happened to this young man last night and try to sort back through it with help from you and the audience. And we ask you now, if you'd like to tweet us your emotions of the night and of this morning about what happened to DeMar Hamlin, please do so. You can tweet us at, at undisputed, at undisputed, and I will be sharing. Here's the thing, for him to be asking people to tweet about their thoughts on Hamlin, they let him know. Bro, Skip Bayless had arguably one of the most viral tweet that i've seen in in over all my years on twitter bro his tweet had over a hundred million engagements so he people don't need to tweet the channel they've been tweeting you personally address the tweet what are you talking about right now bro they've been addressing yo this dude has like ninety thousand retweets and comments and it hasn't even been 24 hours bro his tweet has been viewed by over 100 million people in less than 24 hours. I ain't trying to hear about none. Ain't nobody going to tweet undisputed. What are you talking about, bro? Some of your tweets and your emotions as we share our experience of last night 
through this very difficult morning for all of us. Obviously, my partner Shannon Sharp is not here today. I look forward to seeing him tomorrow. That's wild. My son Shannon. Let's talk about it, y'all. Now, for those asking to see all of the tweets Skip Bayless made last night, this was the first one that he posted that stated, I've seen so many horrific injuries suffered on football fields, yet never have I seen a reaction like this. In every other situation I witnessed or covered, the game always went on fairly quickly. The attitude was, hey, that's football. For these players, this was different. All right, now, this was the, the first tweet that Skip Bayless made, and then he proceeded. And the crazy thing is, it's like, in every other situation I witnessed or covered, the game has always went off fairly quickly. The attitude was, hey, that's football. A player collapsing from a cardiac arrest is just football? Like, this ain't a sprained ankle or a broken arm or even a torn ACL. This man lost life. His, his body was lifeless on the field, bro. And again, he tweets impulsively. So it's be before we all get the information as to what happened to M DeMar Hamlin, he's tweeting this as if like he doesn't even know the, mag the magnitude of the moment. It's like when he leaves this tweet up for people to read later on, it's like you're thinking like he's responding to after knowing it's a cardiac arrest. He doesn't even know that it is, but he's still tweeting this. Hey, that's just football for these players. This was just different. I mean, crazy. To follow up with another tweet that stated, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game, but how? This late in the season? A game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. All right, now this is the tweet that made everyone upset because he's asking, what is the NFL going to do? All right. Then he follows up after people pretty much gave him that smoke. He says, nothing is more important than that young man's health. That was the point of my last tweet. I'm sorry if that was misunderstood, but his health is all that matters. Again, everything else is irrelevant. I pray for him and will continue to. All right. Those were the series of tweets that Skip Bayless made. And it was the second one that really got people upset. Wondering why Skip Bayless is even having this conversation. While Skip is worrying about the outcome of the game, everyone else is worrying about the outcome of this man's life. You get where I'm going with this? Yeah. Everyone waking up defending Skip Bayless. Listen, he's being taken out of context. No, you've seen the tweets. You read them. You can stop the video, go back. Do what you need to do with it. All right? But we've seen exactly what we saw. Skip. And it's like, for him to say the people that defend... I don't think people even defend this nigga, bro. I don't think anybody... <laughs> Like, who, who's the who's trying to defend Skip Bayless? Like, we know what this man is. He's consistently... It's like, everybody at home that watched that happen... I didn't even watch it live. I watched it through Twitter. The first thing I did was like, yo, how do I spell his name? I didn't even know DeMar Hamlin. I'm like, how do I spell his name? I'm like, nah, I gotta, I gotta put praise up for DeMar Hamlin. Now, instinctually, that's what you would think a person with a pulse would do that. It would just like, put your prayers out there or pray for this young man. This man is thinking about the dynamics of the game, bro. And I can't even be mad at Skip because that's who he is. He's been like this forever. So that's my stance when it comes to how I view him. Like, I'm not, I'm not really surprised and I'm not as angry as everybody else is because he's showing you who he's always been. Skip Bayless, as usual, off the cuff, speaking freely. But in that moment, as the whole stadium was in prayer for this man, hoping that he pulls through, no one was worrying about the outcome of that game. You've seen players visibly shocked, in tears, breaking down. You've seen fans, children, everyone praying. At that moment, it wasn't about football. It was about this man making it. And I don't think people understand that. Of course, Skip could have had this conversation on today's show with Shannon, right? They talk about a multitude of topics. They could have really went into that. But in that moment, while everyone is live reacting oh, on social media praying that this man makes it you make this tweet come on man it's not that hard i mean have we become that heartless in society are we that desensitized now where we'll see a man possibly lose his life on the field and y'all worrying about the outcome of the game and you wonder why people are upset at that response i mean come on y'all this isn't rocket science this is the third day after year we just got started and already 
headline after headline after headline. I just heard a uh, former NFL player, Jags player, passed away yesterday. It's getting crazy out here. Damn. Man. Seriously. We got to, <laughs> you know, cherish this player, passed away yesterday. It's getting crazy out here, man. Seriously. We got to, you know, cherish the things that are important. Some of these games are entertainment. These are players. These are not pawns. This is not Call of Duty. You lose one life, you don't get a respawn. No, once you're gone, you're gone. And I get it. These boys are considered gladiators. Of course, some of the former old school NFL players, but let's be real. A lot of studies and research show the impact that, you know, the sport has on your life, right? Especially when you retire. I don't have to get into all of that, but y'all know what I'm saying. Now that we know how dangerous, right, this high contact sport can be, come on, man, let's be mindful. Let's be aware, not in just how we approach the game, but also how it's being reported as well. Like I said, mm. what if something was to happen to Skip during live TV? Do you think people will be worrying about the outcome of the show? Or during that moment, would everyone be hoping that Skip make it? I'm gonna be, I ain't going to hold you, bro. But I don't think anybody cares what happens to Skip. <laughs> you know that Stephen A. You know that Stephen A. mean? <laughs> Who cares? Like, hey, look, <laughs> no one cares, <laughs> you know, but not all seriousness. Like he, he's spitting, bro. This dude is telling the truth. The, t the timing of the tweet was trash, but I'm not upset about it because it's like, this is who Skip has always been. And I feel like being angry at Skip takes away the attention that Damari Hamlin and his family needs because now we're making this more about Skip than we are about this kid. And the fact of the matter is this kid had a cardiac arrest at the age of 24 playing football a, a, a child's game is essentially what has landed this kid in critical condition on national television so again my hearts and prayers go out with damar hamlin and his family that shit is tough to watch bro it, it's tough to watch and i think this is going to be a moment that we all remember this, like we're all going to remember where we were and how it happened it, 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 you just can't erase it out your memory so i don't want to highlight skip bayless who's never played football, who's never played a down, who's never made a tackle. Like, I'm not gonna highlight this man over this kid who needs our attentions and our prayers. Like, I'm just not gonna do it. But l let me know in the comment section if it's time to cancel Skip Bayless. I will react to all the comments left in, in my comment section. And I'm gonna see you guys next time, man. Subscribe is the vibe. It's your boy Gabo. I rock with you if you rock with me. And I'm gonna see you guys next time, man. Pray for this kid. He needs it more than Skip.